Welcome to the IBM Software as a Service demonstration series. In this series, we will demonstrate some architectural patterns exploiting features in IBM middleware for building software as a service solutions. IBM has recently announced the availability of multiple IBM middleware products for the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2. In this demo, we will show how the newly available WebSphere Smash and DB2 Express C Amazon Machine Images, AMIs, can be used to deploy a sample multi-tenant banking application to EC2. This sample banking application has been used to illustrate multiple SaaS architectural patterns in earlier demos in the series and is available for download from the website associated with this demo. Here we show the sample multi-tenant banking application and the IBM middleware products in Amazon Machine Images used to deploy in EC2. Amazon's EC2 is a web service that provides resizable computing capacity in a cloud on which user applications and the underlying middleware can be run. The sample application runs on IBM WebSphere Smash and DB2 Express C middleware products pre-installed in AMIs. WebSphere Smash is an application server which can be used to create, assemble, and deploy applications written in dynamic scripting languages such as Groovy quickly and easily. DB2 Express is IBM's entry-level database server for transaction processing. The sample application also uses OpenLDAP, which is a free, open-source implementation of the Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, or LDAP, commonly used for accessing user information from a registry. We show how this multi-tenant banking application can share its components and deployment infrastructure between customers and employees of two fictitious tenant banks, First Bank and Web Bank. The sample application includes a user interface layer and a services layer which run in separate runtime instances of WebSphere Smash for each bank. The sample application also includes a data layer comprised of shared tables and a shared DB2 database instance, a security layer comprised of a shared open LDAP server with isolated user databases for each tenant, and Amazon Elastic Block Storage Volumes, houses the Smash application files and the OpenLDAP database files, the DB2 database tables. Next, we will show these functional layers of the sample multi-tenant application. This is a UI layer for First Bank. It is built with Dojo widgets embedded in Groovy template files running in WebSphere Smash. It includes multiple iframes for mimicking portlets. The UI is, layer is best viewed in the Firefox browser. This is a UI layer for WebBank. Note that different CSS files are used to provide a different look and feel for each tenant bank. This is a UI layer for the employee role. Users in different roles, such as customer and employees, see different pages at runtime. The services layer is built with RESTful services implemented using Groovy scripts running in WebSphere Smash. Here we invoke the Get Customer Profile service from a browser. Here we can see the Groovy script implementation of this service. These scripts invoke the Smash Data API to access a shared database. The security layer includes two separate Open LDAP databases configured for each bank, Bank 1 LDAP and Bank 2 LDAP. Here we can see the Smash configuration for Open LDAP for First Bank and Web Bank. The data layer includes shared tables with DB2v9 XML columns for storing customizable tenant specific data. Since the WebSphere Smash data model doesn't support DB2 XML natively yet, we created a relational view from the DB2 XML column as shown here. The design patterns described above are shown in greater details in an earlier demo in this series titled Building Web Delivered SaaS Applications on Open Source and Entry Level IBM Middleware. Next, we discuss some high level steps for deploying this application to Amazon EC2. In the first step, we will place the order for the IBM WebSphere Smash and DB2 Express C AMIs. In the second step, we will configure Amazon EC2 security groups and elastic block storage volumes. In the third step, we will deploy the data layer components of our sample application to the DB2 Express C AMI. In step four, we will deploy the UI, services, and security layer components of our sample application to the WebSphere Smash AMI. And in the fifth step, we will access the instances for each tenant bank from a URL. We start from the IBM Developer Works Cloud Computing Resource Center. We select the DB2 Express C AMI. 
We click on the Start Developing link, which takes us to Amazon Web Services, where we sign in with our existing Amazon account. The Amazon Payment screen appears where we place the order. The Amazon Payment process succeeds and displays an activation key. We repeat the above steps for the WebSphere Smash AMI and obtain another activation key. Next, we use the Amazon Web Services Management Console to create security groups and elastic block storage volumes. We create two security groups, DB2 and Smash. We authorize the DB2 security group to allow all traffic from the Smash security group only. We authorize the Smash security group to access ports 8080 and 8081 from any machine. We create three EBS volumes for the LDAP database, the Smash applications, and the DB2 database. Next, we provision the data layer components on the DB2 Express C version 9.5 32-bit AMI. We find this AMI in the AWS Management Console. We verify the product code as 53C681D4 and launch it. While launching, we specify the number and the type of instance, a pre-created key pair, and the security group DB2 created in the previous step. We verify that the instance is running and get the DNS name for the instance. We copy our EC2 certificate and private key to the slash MNT folder in the instance. We use SSH to connect to the instance. 